Let's look at the market, how it's looking today. Today, Bitcoin is down almost 3%. Ethereum down almost 2%. Ripple down 5%. Chainlink down 5%. I, w I told you guys about Chainlink. Remember we spoke about Chainlink last time? I said I'm not buying, I'm not entering any new positions on Chainlink because it's too high. It needs to, it needs to pull back down. Twitch is the best platform, yeah. Yeah, I just, I, I always say the, the Bitcoin Daily dot live because I have that like personalized, but Twitch is, is definitely the, the best spot to watch it. What's up, path that never ends? Red, uh, today we're red because we're, we're at a uh, resistance, bro. There's a big battle going on at 12k. How to learn to trade? Go to our, our, um, our YouTube channel. We have a lot of stuff up on there. Felipe, go to twitch.tv slash bitcoinj to find out the next entry. Yep, hodl. Alright, so, yeah. Chainlink down 5%. Bitcoin Cash down 4%. Litecoin down 2%. Bitcoin SV down 5%. Does anybody trade Bitcoin SV? I have some because I was holding Bitcoin, I guess. And on one of the wallets that had when they had the, the split or whatever, there's like an airdrop. I don't know. I got an airdrop on Bitcoin SV. That's the only reason I have some. Uh, Cardano down 4%. EOS down 5%. Binance down 2%. Crypto.com coin down 3%. Tezos down 7%. Woo! Look at Tron. Tron down 11%. Stellar down 6 Monero is the only one that kind of stayed flat. Neo down 6%. Everything was retracing today. IOTA down 6 V Chain down 5 Dash down 5 that's crazy man crazy day today i mean not nothing too crazy it was it was kind of expected all right guys so who was in here who was in here last time we streamed on sunday sunday night we streamed uh i told you guys if you guys remember sunday night i told you guys i was buying above 12k and i said that was the entry for bitcoin and look what happened boom hit 12k and took off to 12 12 12,500 ish yep 12,500 who caught that what's up like rudo i see you in here welcome to the chat man make sure to follow make sure to follow the the, the channel man So, um, so we spoke about this breakout coming. We spoke about that uh, there was a bull flag pattern on it, and the breakout was imminent. And boom, we got it. It got to 12.5, which is a, another psychological support, and it dropped straight down back to 12k, uh, 12,000 range. Lake Rudo, thank you for the follow, my man. Appreciate it. Um. So now we're we're at this battle right now at 12,000. 
So we're at the 12,000 and then we also have the the green is the 50 uh, day moving average. So we've been staying on top of the 50 day moving average. And we're bouncing between 12,000 over it under it can't we can't pick a direction right now. Um I definitely think we're probably going to consolidate somewhere here if we do drop lower it's going to be 11,800 look at the 11,800 mark right here you see how it was support right here look at all this consolidation on top of the 11,800 mark so that's definitely a support area right there and before this consolidation on top of it look at look at how it was here as a resistance so this is a, a the next support area if we, we are to drop below that, then right here, look at this area right here, 11,600. That is the next support below this. Then we're looking down at 11,300 to 400. So this zone right here, and then probably um, 11K is the next zone down here. Looks like 11, 2, 11, 2 ish and then 11k so we have a lot of support we definitely got a lot of support um, but we're stuck in a range right now so the way I'm, I'm playing this for the next couple days or for how, however long it takes for it to decide which way to go um, I am probably going to be buying I'm looking I want to zoom in a bit Right now we're looking at it in the four hour time frame. Let's go zoom in into the one hour. This is basically what I do when I'm looking for an entry. I zoom in a bit. So 12,080 is a possible entry on top of that. Appreciate that chipmunk. 12,080. The 12,050 area, uh, then there's 12,040. So if you want to be safe and clear yourself away from all this up and down, you would have to probably um, enter for a breakout entry on top of this last candle right here. So that entry is about 12,096. That's about the entry where you're looking at. Um, if you want to enter at a support, that's a breakout entry. If you want to enter at a support, then you're probably looking. I wouldn't enter anywhere unless it's like uh, the only support entry is really 11,800. So unless it goes down there. I wouldn't enter up here right now right here is just kind of in the air like you're in the air it's indecisive there's no direction so you don't want to enter at this level it's a very indecisive level right now so I'm looking at 12,096 for a breakout entry um, you can enter 12,000 the thing with 12,000 right now is that it's very indecisive so if you keep entering at 12k right now you're probably going to keep getting stopped out as if you don't mind getting stopped out multiple times then you know go for it you just got to keep entering keep a tight stop so that your your, your losses are very minimum you want to minimize those losses and just keep entering though um but if you want to avoid the mess then you got you got to enter up here 12,100 area Let's zoom out a bit to the daily. If you if you look at the daily, everything still looks good. We're still looking at a bull flag right here. And it's trending upwards. You see that channel it's it's bouncing in. So the trend looks good. Hold on, let me see. Let me see if I could draw it right here. Can y'all see this? Let's 
see this trend right here. There's a oh, that was a terrible, terrible line. I guys, I've never been an, an artist, as you can see. I am terrible at drawing straight lines. I'm trying my best though. Um, that's the channel that it's in right now. So if it drops down, it could drop down to around this level. That's 11. That's that's 11 seven. 750 to 11800 so even at these levels 11800 this is exactly where support the support is and the up the, the uptrending support is in the same um, the sending support on this channel is in the same area so that makes 11800 a very strong support then we're looking at resistance right about the 12400 area So yeah, this is right here a bull flag, guys. I am still bullish on this. The only thing is, if you want to steer clear, you might want to steer clear away from the 12,000 range um, and only buy around here, which is 11,800 as a support entry. Or if you want to buy a breakout entry, then you're looking at an entry around 12,100. Those are the two entries that I'm looking at right now. Today. At this as of this moment right now. Remember these trends, these entries, these they always change with time, depending what the price does. So don't don't you know, don't listen to me now and then you know in two weeks try to use one of these because they might be invalid at that point. Um that's pretty much it for, for Bitcoin, man. Bitcoin is I'm still very bullish. I, I hope you guys took my uh, my entries last time that we had the live stream because we hit those very Alright, uh, so uh, next we're gonna look at uh, Ethereum What's up, Thea? My mom and aunt are in the chat, that's what's up Hold on, let me let me change um let me change the song. Can't focus with the song on. I don't know what that guy's talking about. Talking some craziness in my ear. Like Rudo, yeah, I'll do Link and Algo. Let me do um let me do these these real quick and then we'll do uh Link and Algo. We'll add it to to the back end. Um, so looking at Ethereum, Ethereum still looks good to me. As you guys can see, thank you, Mar uh, Marvin. Uh, as you guys can see, Ethereum has basically the same overall um, pattern as Bitcoin. We have the similar bull flag. Oh, let me, I'm tripping right now. Hold on, guys. Let me clear this. the stream hold on try to clear my drawings there we go um, so we have the the same sim similar um, thing going on here look at we spoke about the same thing last time uh, bull flag bull flag bull flag a classic bull flag a breakout and now look another bull flag showing up so this is a great entry here it's gonna be above 440 or 450 so 440 is still an iffy entry if you enter above it can still get rejected so to be safe you want to enter above 450 if you're looking to buy on support 420 is the level to buy on support so 450 is a breakout level 420 is a support level those are the two areas I'm looking at for any trades I'm entering on ethereum look at it look at all this green it's gonna blow up guys make sure you're invested in ethereum ethereum will blow up it will hit 
a thousand dollars eventually with time Bitcoin cash has the same pattern guys bull flag it's been it's been now the the only thing on Bitcoin cash if you look at these levels they're a lot wider like the range so you're talking about 320 to 270 basically if you cut out those wicks then you're talking about 320 to 280 so that's a pretty wide range so you gotta be a bit careful when trading Bitcoin cash right now but I do I am bullish on it it has the same pattern um, we have a bull flag so that means the prob the probability for the next move is gonna be up you know bull flag is a when it goes up and there's a con uh, consolidation period and then it's right before a move up again so my entry for Bitcoin cash right now the support I'm entering as close to $300 as possible with a stop up below and um, if you're looking for a breakout trade it's gonna be above 320 with a stop under 320 a break a break above 320 could lead to 350 340 350 range all right let's do uh, XRP I'm gonna go over ripple let me remove this uh, this is a, a fib I have put on here. Let's see what it's been doing on here. I went down to the 0.382. Looks like it broke back out. Got rejected at the 0.236. And it's currently just kind of bouncing around. Let's look at it um, against USD. So we're looking here on the daily chart on Ripple. If you can see, we also have a bull, a bull flag here. Same thing. It does have a pretty wide range though. So we're looking at, if you, if you look from wick to wick, we're looking at around 20, 27 cents to around 33 cents. If you're just looking at the bodies and we're talking about around 32 cents. 28 cents so it's kind of a wide range um, a support entry is gonna be around 29 cents breakout entries are probably gonna be above 32 cents and a super safe breakout is above 33 cents so those are the two levels I'm looking at if I'm to enter a ripple trade Right now it's holding on to 30 cents. 30 cents is a very strong psychological support and resistance. So as long as we stay above 30 cents, we have a pretty good support. If we flip under it, then that's gonna turn into a, um, a strong resistance. Let's look at Litecoin. Litecoin's been moving up on uh, against, against BTC. Let's look at it against USD. So we're finally getting some new highs here from Litecoin. You can see this level right here. What was this? 62. That was a breakout entry right there. So you see right here we had the same thing and here it finally broke out. So it was a nice breakout up to 68. Let's look back on 68 to see why it's stuck there. See, so you see how it's stuck on 68? If you look back, look at look at what happened here at 68, the same price. Then it went up. See, so look, it came up, it stopped there at 68. Then it took off, it tested 68 again, 
then it took off to 84 before coming back down then as it went back down it dropped down to 68 it bounced on 68 went up to 80 psychological numbers remember and then just dropped through you know it dropped all the way down so that's why I always tell you guys look at the history there's reasons for every every single you know place that it stops there's always a reason behind it it doesn't do that you know by mistake um, that's why anytime I'm trading any any coin I'm looking at you know what's back here what's happened in the past because the past can tell you where to where it's gonna go the past the past the history can tell you the future basically you got to know your history in order to be successful in the future so so it dropped here I mean it went up here so we had if you look at it here we talked we talked about this on the lot on the last stream um, we had a bull flag and then bull flag breakout up to 68 which would have been my target if I traded it, I didn't trade it, but I do hold long-term positions here. Um, so the next target, if I'm, if I'm entering a trade, the next target, probably around here, which is 72 area. I'm trying to zoom in a little bit more get a little bit more information so it looks like here that's like the 7250 area up here which is like the 77 area and the, the final target well 80 of course we're gonna have 80 a psychological whole number resistance and then looks like 84 85 um, so th that, those are the, the numbers of interest I'm looking at. If you're looking to enter, I would enter on a breakout. If I'm entering the breakout, would be above 68. If you want to be safe, then above 69. Um, if you're looking to enter on support, support entry is going to be around here. This is $62. So if I'm looking for a support entry, probably around the $62 range. If it breaks below that, it's going to go back down to around 60 to $59 range. So those are, those are the areas I'm looking at for Litecoin. All right, guys, let's look at Cardano. And... Cardano has been retracing since its previous breakout. So we have here, we had the kind of the bull mark, the whole uh, bull flag thing right here. It broke out. Here was a breakout. Broke out from a previous resistance. It had a real nice run. Actually, it had a real nice run from about 850 Satoshis to. 1500 yeah so it, it 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 literally doubled so if you pay attention to the numbers that, that's why I'm always telling you guys pay attention to the numbers because if you look here it literally broke out like down here was consolidating around 800 right so a bunch of people bought at 800 when it's consolidating that means people are buying and selling so when they find a, a consolidation point, a lot of traders like to buy, especially on something like this. See this pattern? This is a bull flag. So on this pattern, a lot of professional traders buy here. So they see all this, they see it's holding, they see it's holding, they're like, all right, we're gonna buy. Then here's the breakout. And again, this was a big resistance right here, which is why I have it marked. And it broke it just broke through so that set off a bunch of buys as well any professional traders had buys above this so buy 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 it just kept going kept going I imagine let me see where's a thousand at I always look for the whole numbers 
they, look look how funny look exactly like around where the thousand is is where it had trouble see that's why I'm saying I always look for whole numbers so it broke a thousand it came back tested a thousand and then went back up this one what, what is this number a thousand fifty broke a thousand fifty tested it took off took off all the way through this one which is 1365 it went all the way up to almost 1500 got rejected or did it test went down to 1200 up to 1450 back down to around 1300 range and then it had these right here where it went up to 1600 so see how it instantly got super rejected it basically got melted off of here so that's why you have to pay attention here look at this remember where I said people were buying any professional traders were buying this this right here this bull flag consolidation period they were all buying this up right as soon as it took off notice that that's 800 right this is the 800 sats notice where it melted 1600 right it's no coincidence that everybody sold at 100% profit so all this right here when it when it went up pro this is profit taking profit taking and went back up profit taking profit taking profit taking it blew back up and this is definitely everybody profit taking because now at that point you're at a hundred percent profit so if you're hundred percent profits you're probably selling everything so that's why look at all this it's just been dropping 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 because right now no nobody's really buying it There's not enough people buying so it might it might drop all the way to a thousand it could drop to the thousand range you gotta wait and see though because it's really there's really nothing here you see like if you look at this there's nothing here this is just a drop so it could drop to this which is a thousand fifty to a thousand it's currently at 1123 so a thousand is is very close it's very possible all right let's look at uh let's look at link so link last time we we did link we um we spoke about this and i think i told you guys that i wasn't buying at the moment i think it was like around here let me see august what day was it what day's today today is the 18th right the 18th this was monday this was sunday so okay so sunday we were here i think we're at this price range which was almost at 20. it was around 19 dollars sunday that's when we did our last live stream I did my last analysis um, and I spoke about 20 I had no interest in entering here unless it broke above $20 20 is a huge psychological resistance number so there's no point in jumping in here zero zero point in jumping in there let's see where Let's see what the price did over here. So went up to nine, dropped back to the seven dollar area, took off ten. Ten is usually a pretty big psychological number, but it got it got through pretty quick. It took it hit it one day, it went back down, then the next day it hit it again. The next day it went back down, but pushed back up, and the third day it just or the, let me see, one, two, three, four, the fourth day, it just blew it out of the water. And it looks like it went up to about $14, right? So the same thing with this, guys. Same thing with this that we spoke about with Cardano. If you if you look at where it consolidated, look at this. This, this is this is the consolidation. So boom, bull flag, right? Consolidated all the way down to $7. This is where everybody's buying. It went all the way up to where $14 right that's a hundred percent gain for all the traders that bought at $7 right here during this consolidation period so consolidation period 
breakout, 100%, sell. So they sold and went back down to about $12, but it took off again. All the way up to 20. So consolidated, it only consolidated for about two days here. And then 20 was that big resistance dropping down so um, if I'm looking to enter honestly this looks like a free fall to me for right now um, $14 is an entry support entry so if I'm gonna enter I'm looking at $14 I'm looking to enter between 13 to $14 but if it breaks below 13 be careful it could drop all the way down here to $10 so I'm looking at the ranges between 13 to 14 as a support entry with a stop under that. You can have a dollar stop. I don't I I I'll have a dollar stop under this right here. I want to I want to stay under these levels right here. So my stop will be under 12. Anything under 12, I'm selling, 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 selling quick cuz that's a drop off to about $10. And then at $10 you want to buy. Um, if it doesn't go down to where I where I would like to buy, which is a 13 to 14 dollar range, then I'm not touching it unless it breaks above 20. 20 is a breakout entry. I'll enter that. I just don't like anything in between. It seems like it's kind of just in the middle, suspended air. If it does consolidate at the 15 dollar range, then 15 dollar can be an entry. Um, with a stop. I don't know. I don't know where the stop would be. That's why I'd have to. I need more time. It would need to consolidate a bit here. That's that's kind of my. That's what I'm looking at. That's what I see right now with Link. Let's take a look here. So we can see the resistance with was here around the 320 range. Then it broke out. This is a this is a basically a bull flag right here. Broke out, went all the way to 440 ish. And it's been going down ever since. Um, so the support for Tezels right now that I'm seeing is around the 320 area. 340 area. So 340 to 320. You'll need you if you enter it that high up though, you do need a stop under three dollars probably. Probably something under 295, under 290 ish. Or if you want to be if you want to be extra, give it more depending on your risk tolerance, then you'll go down here be, below all this because this could easily just go down, way down here, and then just jump back up. You know what I mean? Um, so depending on your risk tolerance and how long term you're looking to hold it, if you're looking very long term, I'll keep a wider stop. Um, if you're looking short term, then I'm entering 340 to 320 with a stop under $3 probably. And your target is basically $4. Your target is going to be 370 $4. Four forty. Those are the three targets that I'm looking at. Take a look here at Maker. So we still kind of see this the same pattern. If if you look over here at a very similar pattern to what's going on right now right so it's like boom see this right here is kind of like a cup and handle broke out and now it's kind of doing the same thing broke out so if it continue the same pattern that means this area right here is this area right here right so we can expect 
will be looking at a move of like fifty dollar move. This and of, it's of course if it continue if it follows the same pattern that it did before. Um, if it hold on, what, what in the world is this Jedi music again? Pretty sure that happens to me every stream. Um, so we zoom in a bit. Let's let's go down to the four hour chart. If this decides to, there we go. So this chart is, why does this chart look so weird? <clears throat> the chart looks super weird, but I'm thinking if it continues down, it looks like the support is down here. This is 620. Below, below that, looks like what? 600, yeah, 600, 580. Yeah, so if it continues down, the support where I'd be looking to enter, if, if I'm looking for a support entry, 620 and then 600. Those are two support entries you could possibly take. Um, if it breaks below 600, it's kind of dangerous. Um, if I'm looking to enter through a breakout, So you could do, it'll be high risk, but you could do something above 700 with a stop and then set just set a type stop below 700 just to play that 700 whole number resistance breakout. Um, and if it stops out, then that's fine. But it's kind of high risk, but it's a play you can do. You'd be looking at the first uh, target being around 6, 725 second target hmm. even though nothing happened at 750 last time I'd still be setting 750 as another target and then 800 as a final target Fesperago thank you for the follow my guy so yeah that's that's kind of what I see in maker very similar thing happening here that happened in the past so if it plays out again we can look at about a $50 jump it's basically what happened here so currently is at 665 so we're talking about probably around this range 800 to 850 could definitely happen. Yeah, 600 to 620 area is where is where I would personally like to enter. Um, but if you want to try a 700 breakout entry, you could try that. It's just the, the range on it is so wide, you know what I mean? Like there's there's really no other support here. It just kinda, you know, we have the 50 day. No, this is not the 50 day. What is this one? This is a 20 day. We have the 20 day down here. So the 20 day is currently at 640. I'm trying to see how it reacted to the 20 day before. Bounced on it, fell through, bounced, 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 and it just took off. So it's definitely coming back to at least a 20. I wouldn't buy there though. I don't really like that level. Not enough for me. Um, 600 to 620 is where I'm looking at. 
for entry or you can try the 700 breakout entry all right red coin is that is that the one that we uh agreed on rdd is this still really only on uh on bitrex <laughs> this yeah this is why i haven't traded this in so long guys it looks like uh it looks like doge <laughs> the the chart looks just like doge Esperago, you can just you can just keep uh you definitely need BTC. You could just keep it in BTC. You'll be good with that. Look at this. I I feel like I'm playing um oh what's it called? Like an Atari. I don't know how old you guys are, but Atari, Nintendo. very odd looking chart yeah it is <laughs> so i mean are you currently invested in red coin right now that's the first question and where and if you are where did you enter what's your uh entry for red coin yeah i mean i I bet you're in the red, man. There's not, <laughs> there's not much else to for it to go. It can, it can't go. It hasn't gone up in a while, <laughs> and there's not much more room for it to go down. Let's look at the weekly chart. Oh man, this this chart is crazy. All right. <clears throat> you bought in 2007, but at at seven at seven sats or where? buy at 70 satoshis or at 7 satoshis oh usd Let, let's look at usd because i'm looking at it against uh bitcoin us dollar <laughs> okay now we're looking at the same at the same thing. All right, so I got there's some good news here. So the good news is that it can't go much lower. <laughs> That's the good news, man. You know, you got to you got to look at the the positive in the situation so the positive here it can't go much lower man there's nowhere else for it to go <laughs> um so i'm trying to look here all right so it's above these 2007 levels right here right before it took off it's kind of in the same range right the thing is it hasn't moved since so I got in this range in November 2018 and it hasn't moved since so it's been November 9th that's one year you're, you're about to be on a two years 
two years holding a bag, bro. Um, man, I mean, it, it could move at eventually, you know. Look, look, look how it did here. Like it just stayed there. Was it May 2017? So I mean, it wasn't as long as you're holding, but it was there in that range for a while, and it just blew up out of nowhere one day. So if you want, if you want to average down, you can try. I honestly wouldn't average this down. I mean, if you really believe in the project, you can. Um, I haven't looked into the project enough to to be informed enough about it. Um, I I basically strictly trade based on technical analysis. Um, so I don't know enough about the project. Remember, I'm a I'm a stock trader that came over from stocks, and the way that I trade stocks was always uh, technical analysis. I don't care about the company, <laughs> you know, like I don't care how the company's doing. I don't care about any of that stuff. I don't, I don't look into fundamental. I only trade technicals. I only look at price and I trade the price action. That's it. Um, so if you believe in the project, you know, that's different. It, you might want to double down on it. Maybe it's a project that people haven't, you know, noticed yet or whatever. So, I mean, it's up to you, man. Because if you, if you average down your position, you'll have at least a better entry. And you might be able to, to break even faster. But on a rule of thumb for me, a rule of thumb for me um, is not to add more money, not to throw more money into the fire, basically. You know what I mean? Don't add more to a losing trade. Don't add, don't throw more money into the fire is what I always say, so... Oh, oh, okay. So you're you're mining and everything. Damn, you're like a a real supporter of Redcoin, bro. They should give you a VIP badge or something for holding for for that long, dude. <laughs> nah, but then if if you're getting free Redcoin, then your position should be averaging down. So you should yeah. So don't 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 put any more money into it. Just keep mining it, keep getting it, and it'll keep averaging your position down. And if it takes off, you're good, bro. All right, since we looked at red coin, now we got to look at our, our bonus, our bonus, um, where's our bonus one? If we look at red coin, we got to look at doge. It's just, we just have to, right? Man, Doge is wild. There. Um, so this is the buy area. We, last time we spoke about Doge, we spoke about this buy area. This is where you want to buy right here. If you're looking to buy Doge for any reason, just because you want to, you know, get a laugh at making the money for no apparent reason, just because Doge likes to pump for no reason, I would enter between 26 satoshis down to 24 satoshis or actually you could go i don't mind going as low as this what's the low here 22 so anywhere here i don't mind buying between 26 to 22 put a stop loss at 21 and that's it man so set some buys up at 26 I would set a buy up at 24 and a buy at 22 split your entry into three positions just in case and then I have a stop loss for all of them at 21 and that's basically it man that's the way you trade that um, if you're looking for a breakout entry here oh man I I just don't like 
uh, doge enough to <laughs> to break out entry it, you know what I mean? To set up a breakout entry. So I would only enter on a support. I wouldn't risk to break out. Doesn't make sense. Oh, appreciate that, D-Wizzy. Yeah, man, I need uh, I need to get to 50 followers to get affiliate, man. I'm at, like, I should be close to 30 by now, right? I'm not sure, though. We still got five people in the chat. Guys, if you're not a follower yet, please become a follower. I need to get to 50. <laughs> um, well, we actually got seven viewers right now. That's basically it, guys. Uh, do you guys have any other questions? 